Through his choice of costume, J.R. has taken on the character of Harald Greycloak, King of Norway in the 10th century. Skalawa are out in force already to catch a first glimpse of the warrior suits and the hand-built Viking longship. Out on the streets, Dawn and her squad head towards the crowds, growing in size and expectation. <laughs> and with everyone in position, the procession is primed to go. There's certain marshals that carry flares and they light them when the marine goes up. It's the start of a blazing spectacle. Awesome. You ready, guys? Everybody okay? Yeah? And time to forge a host of golden memories under the starlit Scalawa sky. Excellent. <laughs> It's brilliant to look back and see everybody follow us. Lucky for me. Once in a lifetime chance. Pretty windy tonight. With hundreds of torches soaked in paraffin, providing warmth as well as light, the 200-strong procession snakes its way through Scalawa's streets towards the waterfront. Steeped in his history, both man and boy, this day as the festival figurehead is the stuff of Shetland dreams for GR. It's an honour to do it. I'm just thankful my squad let me do it. You do it so far and come and watch, and the youngsters can look at it and think, yeah, we want to do it. It doesn't matter when they're rain, they're always a crowd and they're always here, and that's what it's all about. Once at the waterfront, the last act of this dramatic ritual draws near. Three cheers! For the galley builders! Up here! The Long Arriva is set ablaze with scores of torches. Dispatched in true Viking tradition. King dies, his body would be placed in his galley, and his ship would be born and be sent to Valhalla. So that's the significance of this. It's good. This is what we're here to do. It's the main thing. 120 hours of work gone. Burnt to a crisp in 10 minutes flat. 